works up mob here. This is the place that if it's got a gasoline-powered engine, I said gasoline-powered engine, you can ride it or use it. We're loving it. So today, is it the Heritage, the V-Rod, the Sportster, or the SSR? Hmm. Nope, we're going to be working on something else. We're working on this. Yep, it's about a 10-year-old snowblower. Troy built. Can't go wrong with that. But we've used it and abused it over the years. So where? The old paddles on the bottom are just wore out. So let's get at it, get replacing those. Because the snow is on the way. And you may be thinking to yourself, why are you making a video of this? Well, because the wind chill outside currently is 35 below zero. Snow's on the way. Can you imagine what that's going to be like? So I've got to get the old snowblower going. So uh, these are the snower paddles. I guess because they kind of paddle, you know, like on the river, in the kayak. Yeah, the this is the paddles. You can kind of see it. Well, they have, it's just rubber tire, it's basically with tread on it. We're going to slap them on here. You might be bored stiff, but so am I. So that's why we're doing this video. If you don't like what I'm doing, just scroll all the way to the end and hit that like and that subscribe button while you're there. Otherwise, let's get cracking. Did I say it's that cracking thing again? <laughs> So these paddles, yeah, you can pick them up just about everywhere. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can pick these up. They're pretty generic. I don't know if this is from the original manufacturer. I think they're a better quality possibly than some of the other Chinese knockoffs, which these probably say made in China somewhere. Uh, one nice thing they do supply you is there's another set of self-tapping bolts, which we're going to just keep those in the bag. Um, I am not having any attention of stripping this stuff out. So what we got on here, on our 3 8 inch ratchet, looks pretty straightforward. We got two here, two here, and two here for this paddle. So we'll let you get at it and get those out. So. You notice something? I've got one, two, three, four, five in my hand. We have one, two, three, four, five, six holes. What does that tell you? One of these came out somewhere along the way. Uh, unless I took it out in, during the video earlier and didn't notice it. Go back and take a look. I'm not. So we got those out. See how the paddle comes right out? Yes, sir. Just like that. Yes, sir. -y Bob. That must be why they end up giving us some extras. Here's the new one. You can see we got fresh tread here. We're down to the cords here, which it's all cords anyway. So we're going to put some fresh rubber on. Don't make any jokes. It looks like it does kind of work this way, right? So now it's just a matter of getting these all lined up one at a time. And since we got the new bolt, the new screws, we're going to use the new screws. Let's put these all in. So, if you notice, we're not tightening them all the way down. We're going to get them all in, then we'll tighten them down. There you go. First paddle down. That was boring as all giddy up, I bet. So, I'm going to put the other one on. I'll show you the finished product. So as you can see, we've got all of them on. We all have them cinched down. There's uh, no torque to them. 
probably something to check after about a month worth of use just to make sure they're all good and tight. Uh, one thing I wanted you all to be aware of, I did have the spark plug unplugged, uh, the wire off the spark plug all this time just to make sure she didn't accidentally start up on us. Same procedure that you'd use when working on a lawn lawnmower. Um, so anyway, one other thing, when this thing starts to run for the first time, and I remember this when we first got it as well, when the paddles start to go because they're brand new, you're going to smell a little bit of a rubber smell. And that's because they'll be rubbing on the uh, inside of the frame ever so slightly until they get broke in and get slightly wore down. So not a big deal, just wanted to make you aware. So the other thing I wanted to tell you all is for everybody that's watched my videos over the last two, two and a half years, and the subscribers that I've got, and for the ones that aren't subscribers and just watch, I wanted to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas and a most blessed New Year. Uh, Feliz Navidad, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, if you don't celebrate anything. I want you to have, please, a, I hope you have a, a restful and joyous uh, vacation time, if nothing else. So until next year, this is What's Up Bob saying, we'll be seeing you. Thank <music> you.